हेलो व्यूवर्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इश्पाक सामून विलाग्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस स्टेट काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स सीओएम इट इज लेक्चर फॉर क्लास 11 स्टूडेंट्स सब्जेक्ट इज पॉलिटिकल साइंस बुक 1 कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया बी विद मी टिल द एंड ऑफ द लेक्चर लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द स्टेट काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स COM is a central body uh, that forms part of the executive branch of the state government. Uh, it is the real executive authority under the parliamentary system of uh, government as provided by the Indian constitution. Uh, the council serves as the principal uh, advisory body to the chief executive head of the state, that is uh, the governor of the state. It also plays a pivotal role in decision making as well as in the formulation and implementation of government uh, policies. The constitutional provisions related to State Council of Ministers, COM. Uh, the important constitutional provisions related to the State Council of Ministers uh, in India are listed below. <clears throat> article 163. Uh, under this article, Council of Ministers <clears throat> are responsible to add and advise to Governor. Uh, Article 164 uh, related to other provisions as to ministers. Article 166 conduct of business of the government of uh, a state. Article 167 duties of a chief minister uh, as respects uh, the uh, furnishing of more information to the governor. Article 177 rights of ministers as respects. Uh, uh, to the houses. Article 63, Council of Ministers uh, to aid and advise Governor. <clears throat> Let us discuss first. There shall be a Council of Ministers uh, with uh, the Chief Minister as the head to aid and advise the Governor in exercise of his her uh, functions uh, except uh, in so far as uh, he she is required uh, to exercise his her functions uh, in his are the uh, discretion. Uh, if any question arises whether a matter falls within the governor's discretion or not, the decision of the governor shall be final. Uh, again, I will repeat it. If any question arises whether a matter falls within the governor's uh, discretion or not, the decision of the governor shall be final. Moreover, the uh, validity of anything done by the governor's uh, shall not be called in question on uh, the ground that he ought or <clears throat> ought not to have acted in his uh, discretion. The advice tendered by ministers to the governor shall not be inquired into uh, in any court. Further, <clears throat> under Article 164, uh, other provisions uh, of ministers are aid to minister. The chief minister shall be appointed by the governor and the other ministers shall be appointed by the governor on the advice of the chief ministers. The total number of ministers including the chief minister in the council of ministers in a state shall not exceed 15% of the total strength uh, of the legislative assembly of the state. Uh, but the number of ministers including the chief minister in state shall not be less than 12. So 12 members should be there in the cabinet. Uh, the provisions <coughs> provision was uh, added by the 91st Constitution Amendment Act 2003. The, uh, a member of either house of state legislature belonging to any political party who is disqualified on the grounds of defection mm -hmm. shall also be disqualified to the appointment as uh, a minister. Uh, the provision was also added by the 91st Constitution <coughs> Amendment Act of 2003. Uh, the ministers uh, shall hold office during the pleasure of the governor. The council of ministers shall be collectively responsible to the state uh, legislative assembly. The governor shall administer uh, the oaths of office and secrecy to a ministers. The minister who is not a member of the state legislature for any period of six consecutive months shall cease to be a minister. The salaries and allowance of ministers shall be determined by the state legislature. Yeah. Uh, we'll, uh, uh, 
look at article 166 so conduct of business of government of state all executive actions of the government of state shall be expressed to be taken in the name of the governor orders and other instruments made and executed in the name of the governor shall be authenticated in such manner as may be specified in rules to be made by the governor the validity of an order or an instrument which is so authenticated shall not be called in question on the ground that it is not an order or an instrument made or executed by the governor the governor shall make rules for the more convenient transaction of the business of the government of state and for the allocation among ministers of the said business in so far as it is not business with respect to which the governor is required to act at his her discretion article 167 duties of chief minister it shall be the <coughs> governor to communicate uh, to the gov uh, uh, governor all uh, decisions of the council of ministers related to the administration of affairs of the state and proposals for uh, uh, legislation uh, to uh, furnish such information related to the administration of uh, affairs of the state and proposals for legislation as the governor may call for if the governor so requires to submit for consideration of the council of ministers uh, any matter on which a decision has been taken by a minister but which has not been considered by the council of ministers Mm -hmm. uh, further under article 77 yeah. rights of ministers as respects the houses every minister shall have the right to speak and take part in the proceedings of the assembly and also the council where it exists and any committee of the state legislature of which he may be named as a member but shall not be <clears throat> shall not by virtue of this article be entitled to vote it means that the minister who is a member of one house of state legislature has the right to speak and take part in the proceedings of the other house also if it is a bicameral legislature but he can vote only in the house legislative assembly or legislative council of which he is a member composition of state council of ministers as the phrase council of ministers suggests that the state council of ministers in india refers to a group of ministers headed by the chief minister the supreme governing authority of the state however the constitution does not specify the ranking of ministers uh, or the size of state council of ministers they are decided by chief minister of the state according to the exigencies of the time and requirements of the situation the state council of ministers comprises the following three categories of ministers number one cabinet ministers number two ministers of states and number three deputy ministers cabinet ministers cabinet ministers cabinet ministers are the ones uh, who had important departments of the state government such as home defense finance these ministers are the members of the cabinet attend its meetings and play an important role in deciding the policies of the government ministers of state ministers of state are the ones who can either be attached to the cabinet ministers or given an independent charge of ministers departments however they are not the members of the cabinet and do not attend its meetings unless specified especially uh, invited deputy ministers deputy ministers are not given independent charges of the departments they are rather attached to the cabinet ministers and assist them in their in their duties they are not members of the cabinet and do not attend the meetings of the cabinet <clears throat> now appointment of ministers the constitutional provision regarding the appointment of ministers of the state uh, council of ministers um in india are as follows the chief minister is appointed by the governor of state other ministers are appointed by the governor of state on the advice of the chief minister thus the governor can appoint only those persons as ministers who are recommended by the chief minister a person who is not a member of either house of the state legislature can also be appointed as a minister but within six months she, she must become a member of either house of the state legislature otherwise he ceases to be a minister. 
he is seized to be a minister. A minister who is a member of one house of the state legislature has the right to speak and to take part in the proceedings of the other house, but he she cannot vote, can vote only in the house of which he is a member. The governor of state administers the oath of office as well as the oath of secrecy to the ministers of the state of the ministers oath of office in his her oath of office he, the minister swears to be to bear true faith and allegiance to the constitution to uphold the sovereignty and integrity of india to faithfully and conscious uh, consciously discharge the duties of his office to do right to all uh, manner of people in accordance with the constitution and law without fear and uh, favor affection or ill will oath of secrecy in his or oath of secrecy the minister swears that he she will not directly or indirectly communicates or reveal the any person any matter that is ought under his consideration or becomes known to him as a state minister except as may be required for the due discharge of his duties uh, as such minister sadly the names of ministers the salaries and honors of consular ministers are determined by the state legislature. From time to time, a minister gets the salary and allowances that are payable to a member of the state legislature. Additionally, the minister also gets a sanctuary allowance according to his or rank for a free accommodation, traveling allowance, medical facilities, etc. The role of state consular ministers, the role of the state consular ministers in India can be seen in the following points. It is the highest decision making authority in the <coughs> political administrative system of the state. It is the chief policy formation body of the state government. It is the supreme executive authority of the state government. It is the chief coordinator of the state administrator. It is an advisory body of the governor of state. It acts as the chief crisis manager in the case of emergencies. It deals with the major legislative and financial matters. It exercises control over higher appointments like constitutional authorities and senior secretary administrators. Uh, okay. With this, we have concluded today's topic. Mm -hmm. If you want to talk with us, WhatsApp number is visible on screen. Uh, email ID is on screen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks. We'll meet soon, inshallah. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Bye.